Hi, this is Brad with Pro Light Gear, and this is going to be a follow-up video uh, to our original. We had the how to pitch the Scout UL2 and kind of the overview of the tent. We have been hit with an onslaught of emails and phone calls on is that pole in the back there really an issue when you're pitching it? And so we're going to want to show you uh, a couple different ways to kind of pitch this tent without using the pole inside in the back. Um, so Shane, I'm going to have you take a look in here with the camera so you can kind of see that the pole you know, is in the back there and this is up front. Right now I mean, there's a lot of sleeping area for two people but it is divided in between the poles and it is kind of a nuisance down there. Um, I really don't mind but I'm going to try to pitch it without the pole there. So I'll be right back. Oh, it's like a collapsing circus tent back there. All right. So, Shane, let's run around to the back side here real quick. Sorry if things get a little shaky. And every time I do this, I trip over the guy lines. I'm not going to do it. There we go. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is extend the trekking pole to about its longest point. Grab this, slide the point of the trekking pole up through there. Anchor your basket, or not your basket, your grip in the ground. And extend. At this point, you've essentially pitched the shelter without having the pole on the inside. <clears throat> the only downside to pitching it like this. Well, Shane, I'll have you come around here so you can get a back angle here. Normally, this flap that allows you to see this mesh comes out and pulls out a little bit farther. So it's gonna be resting up against this pole. Now I can still put my hand behind there. There's a good three inches of space. So you're still gonna get a little ventilation, but definitely not as much in this pitching configuration. And up here, <clears throat> this is the little frog eye vent where there's a little piece of Velcro here, a stiffened rod right there. So you want to bring this out to attach that little piece of Velcro. Normally this would be out in the center. With a the pole there it can't do that so you just run it just past the pole and you still get this piece pushing out against it but you're still gonna get about half the breathability up here that you did but I don't really see it as that big of an issue. Um, so that is one option for pitching this without uh, having the pole on the inside. The other option is pitch it near a tree. Take this piece of cord, wrap it up, and hook it to a branch and then tie it up that way and then you don't have the, the pole in the back. Um, a little bit harder in alpine country where you're not near a lot of trees. The other option is to do this same exact setup but on the inside. And if you did it on the inside, you want to take like your flip-flop or a camp shoe, something else like that, and butt it up against the back end here on the inside of the shelter and then pitch it up right there. So I'm going to run inside with my flip-flop and show you how to do that one as well. I'll Shane run around here with me too and let's right. see if I can't trip on the guy lines this time. We'll see how good my video work is. The screen isn't working. So we're going to go back uh, inside here oh, with my with is. my camp shoe, my flip-flop. And they give you these nice little uh, heavily three-layer reinforced areas to point your trekking pole in. And you can see that right now I'm using just a straight tungsten point right on the bottom there. It probably will be a wear point over time. So I'll bring my little rubber shoes that go over the point of these. But right now I really don't care. I'm going to use my flip-flop. So we're going to take this, place the basket in that nice reinforced point, take my flip-flop, Set it right there and extend down onto it. And now your tent is basically pitched without the pole there. Your tent isn't being portioned any which way that it shouldn't be. You got a nice rigid base for that pole to sit on. And now you've got full movability. So if you have any questions about this shelter or pitching this shelter, please feel free to give us a call at 406-582-0508 or send us an email at info at prolightgear.com. Hope this helps.